Today we're going to be doing six rounds of four moves and 30 seconds for each exercise. So set a timer and get yourself ready for speed skaters. Here we go, 30 seconds. You're going to jump side to side, nice and wide, nice and soft in your landings, and bring your right elbow to your left knee and left elbow to your right knee, just like you're going down a skating rink or you're at the roller rink or whatever. Just have fun with it. You're going to keep your abs tucked in tight, your shoulders are back and down, your chest is up, your gaze is forward, and then you're really hopping as far as you can out to the side. If you want to pick up the pace or burn a little bit more calories in this one, just increase your speed or increase the distance that you're jumping side to side. But always remember to keep it nice and safe and you don't want to strain your knees, so keep your knees stacked over that stationary ankle as you bring the other leg behind you. The next exercise is the walking push-up. So just like a regular push-up, except you're going to be moving side to side with it. So bring your hands and then the feet together and go down as you go into a wider push-up than your standard push-up. So notice that her shoulders are stacked right over the wrists, her abs are tucked in tight, her back is flat, there's no low back slump, and she's leading with the chest, not her forehead. Okay, she's going to move side to side. So inhale as you go down, exhale as you press up in your push-up. We're going for full range of motion here, and just do as many as you can for 30 seconds. Good. Yes. Amazing. You got this. Hang in there. These push-ups are tough, but they are super effective. The next exercise is the jump squat. So in your jump squats, we're going 30 seconds here, knees behind the toes. You're using the arms to propel yourself upwards. Abs are in tight, chest is big, shoulders back and down, gaze forward. Her feet are about hip width apart or slightly wider here in her jump squat. If you want to target the inner thighs a bit more, you can take your feet out even wider and point your toes out to the side. So that's up to you. That's an option that you can try if you're really looking to target the inner thighs today. Otherwise, just standard jump squats. Inhale as you go down and exhale as you come up. The next exercise is known as the inchworm. So you're gonna start in a standing position, reaching up tall, bring your hands down to the ground and walk yourself out into plank position. Then use your feet to walk your way in towards your hands and reach up, turn around, hands go back down, walk it out and walk the feet in and repeat. So each time you do this, make sure that you're really engaging the abs and you're walking nice and slow into a full plank position, okay? So don't cheat here. It's easy to kind of just go halfway or whatever, but you want to really get into shoulder stacked right over the wrist to get the maximum benefit from this exercise. If you want to take it up a notch, Sarah is showing you how to add in a 180 vertical jump here as she goes around. So that's just adding a little bit of plyometrics in here, getting your legs and your core extra calorie burn and isn't that what we're here for shall we so push yourself girl rest for one minute and then repeat five more rounds